Welcome friends, today's tutorial is about how to convert a simple mesh to jelly-like mesh using script. So before any wait, let's get started. In my sample scene, I have a box with rigid body. I want to convert my mesh into jelly-like mesh. For this, we need a script which loop my mesh vertex with motion. This script contains just few lines. First of all, we need original mesh and mesh clone which we're going to make in runtime and mesh render component of the object after writing these variable first we need original mesh from mesh filter component of the object and then we need to create a mesh clone using the original mesh very simple mesh clone equal to instantiate original mesh and then we need to assign the mesh to the share mesh of mesh filter and also we need to get the render component from the object after getting this we need to create a class where we store each vertex value like index and position and its velocity and force and necessary to assign id and position of vertex and then I'm going to create a array of jelly vertex. And now I'm going to assign the jelly vertex length and using for loop to assign the index and vertex in wild point. And we also need a vector theory array of vertex which we are going to change in runtime. And also I'm going to assign the original Mac toast vertex to this array and I'm going to use for loop for for getting the R vertex point in jelly vertex. And here I set the vector the target equal to transform dot transform point vertex a j and with the ID of jelly vertex. And here I set the intensity using render pound max value and I also multiply with intensity value which we can increase by public and also I create a public for mass of object stiffness and damping ratio of mesh I'm setting the value of 0.75 and here we need a public for shape function with some mathematical procedure where I get the direction and then multiply with some force and also I multiply with stiffness this function gives little bit shake to our mesh vertex and here I call the shake function on every vertex point in JV using target and assign the mass stiffness and damping value after shake function we need to inverse vertex position and then we need to assign back this target vector the value to the vertex array jv index value using vector the dollar method with just increment of intensity value and the main thing is we need to assign this vertex to mesh clone dot vertex so here we need to simply drag the script on the object where which we need to make jelly and now if we drag and pick the object you can see it performing like jelly movement so we can easily make rubber jelly or different type of movement by adjusting these values so thanks for watching my video